Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. I have been up for about 20 minutes. My body told me to wake up. And it told me to wake up right before 7. And this has been the case for the past two weeks. So I think I've trained my body to wake me up at the very exact right time. Now, I've been kind of just stretching and seeing if my body... Oh, wait. Guys, I'm Ricky, 24, live in DC, welcome. If you're new here, um, post new videos every single day, something you might be interested in. If so, stay around, check us out. Anyway, I've been just stretching my body and trying to feel like, huh, could I go to the gym today? Like, if I go to the gym today, am I pushing myself or am I going to the gym today? And, uh, and, I can push myself, but I'm also like actually incredibly sore. And it might be the latter. But honestly, I'm not I'm not really feeling that that sore. Like when I was sleeping in my bed, all covered in my sheets, it just like it was a little bit hard to motivate myself to convince myself that I'm not too sore. But I, after getting up, moving a bit drinking some water. I have a huge jug of electrolyte water. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna go to the gym. I th Wait. Yeah, 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 we're gonna go to the gym. Yo, so we just finished out with the workout. Guys, look at me. Mm, yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, still a little flabby, but progress. Anyway, we're just gonna walk to Whole Foods. Nothing exciting. Let's go. Oh, whoa. Whew. Just got out of the shower. Looking, look at, look at my hair. I just want to show off my hair because this is honestly the best it's gonna look in the week and then it just like <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't get worse but it just like shapes differently right you guys can tell the difference but if i was gonna like go out on a friday night this is definitely how i would have my hair oh. guys i'm i'm not trying to be narcissistic but Boy, I'm so happy that I grew my hair out and that I'm using product that really makes it come alive. Even though it's dead, right? Are we still, is that still true that hair is technically dead? And either way, I'm feeling myself. I've literally been stretching, moving my body ever since getting home. I feel, it's so weird because like, so what I do is I wait until like 3 p.m. till I eat. But as my body is kind of like getting up, is getting in the process of toning up, you know, I feel like my muscles readjusting and they're all like different parts of my body and they feel the pain. <laughs> is like that of a cramp, but more manageable and not a cramp. And then after it happens, I see like a little bit more defined muscle. I think my body's literally, my body's literally like changing, like morphing into my, my dream body, if you say it like that. But it's also been kind of, it's been painful, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how good of a sleep I'm gonna get but I think that might have to do a little bit more with how much caffeine I had and honestly, how much sugar I had. I ordered six gluten-friendly cupcakes. They're not gluten-free necessarily because they're made in the same place as other cupcakes, but it's ones I could digest. And I was desperate because one of the other bakeries I would normally have gone to, I, go, I went to um, Sprinkles, which is Sprinkles? Yeah, Sprinkles, Sprinkles. <laughs> Famous DC cupcake shop here. But 
I went, I ended up getting stuff from them, but the bakery I normally get stuff from, like cinnamon rolls. Ooh, I love cinnamon rolls. If you guys didn't know this about me, which I don't think I've actually shared this. I love cinnamon rolls. They're my favorite and baked good in the entire world. But the problem is there's not many, you don't come across many that are gluten-free, you know? Uh, it'd be nice if it were gluten-free and vegan and soy-free and all of that good stuff. <laughs> you betcha. Could I make it myself? I, I could not really hear, not with the tiny toaster oven I have, but it's a dream of mine when I move back to London, that I will have a proper oven. So then maybe we can, we can get on that. Anyway, they were closed. I ordered cupcakes, six. I thought at most I would eat in the day would be four. I know, I know, but like I can afford to. God knows my metabolism is <laughs> sped up. I actually ended up eating all six of them. And this is after I had five grilled chicken breasts and a couple of slices of cheese. And I've never been happier. I'm like able to eat like this. Like I'm, I'm managing, like I'm not like just willy nilly, you know, like, but I miss being able to eat like this and not have to worry about gaining weight. I still have to deal with being allergic to dairy, you know, so I have to take lactate and all that good stuff, but other than that, you know, it's fine. My sleep does kind of get hit. The quality, like I can't really get into REM cycle because my brain is inflamed. <laughs> That sounds bad. It's bad, but it's not life threatening. I know, it's it's not been life threatening. Yeah, but you know you gotta have those little pleasures in life, um, from time to time. So, yeah, I ended up eating all those cupcakes. I ended up eating forty seven dollars, like that. I wanted at least two to last to the next day, <laughs> but hey, you gotta, I gotta eat. I gotta build muscle, keep it up, you know, you know. It's a daily vlog.